Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I wanna talk about what is going on with Launch School. Now, this is the third update that I've done for this section of the course, JS175 Network Applications with JavaScript, and it has been a long road. So if you guys are interested in hearing about this section of the course, JS175, you're thinking about taking Launch School, you're in the middle of this series, you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around to hear a little bit more about this course. If you wanna hear the start, what this course has been like, you can go back to my first video this is now a three-part series on JS175. And if you're new to this channel, you can go back and check the first initial videos I made about Launch School when I was thinking about going through it and starting in the first course. So anyway, for everyone else that's still here wanting to hear about this, this is part three in my update to JS175 and what's taking me so long, what I'm doing in the course, what I think of it. So in my previous two videos, I talked about first my overview of the course and then second, why I was going through the material again and what I was planning to do for a project for the course. At this point, I've been through it two times and I still didn't feel totally solid on the material. So instead of picking a new project to do and trying to extend some of the features that we built out in this section of the course, I simply decided to go through the course a third time. And this is rare. So normally what I do when I take any course in Launch School is I go through the material one time, a first pass, just to get basic understanding and doing some of the practice problems or some of the challenge problems. And then I'll go back through in any sections that were tough and review, especially looking at my notes for any sections I wasn't super clear about. And I'll go through it a second time in more detail. And that's usually enough for me to feel super confident with all the material and pass any assessment or get ready to study for it, you know, final time where I'm just studying challenge questions and going through my notes. In this case, since there's not an assessment to get ready and there's no additional breakdown or study guide for the assessment that highlights the most important parts of this course, I wanted to make sure that I just had a super solid understanding of every single concept that was presented. So I decided to just go through this a third time and really focus on any of the sections that I wasn't super clear on the first time. This definitely was worth it in this case because since we're dealing with so many new technologies when we're talking about building a web application, it was good to really in depth break down the portions that talk about how you would build out some of the features that are in a modern web framework in vanilla JavaScript with just a select few libraries and methods that you're gonna use to make the functionality you need for a modern web application and then understand how those features and how they're all packaged together in an application you're building from scratch can be replaced with a modern web framework like Express. It also shows you how some of the code that you're building up in HTML can be translated into a templating engine like Pug, the templating engine that templating engine, excuse me, that they use in Launch School and then how to create layouts for that templating engine. So those were the parts I wasn't super clear on and a lot of that had to do with me not reading in depth the documentation for Express or Pug, simply because it's not very user-friendly and it's somewhat difficult to navigate. So this time I went through it much more slowly. I looked at my own examples while I was going through to really get a better understanding of formatting for Pug and then the specific features that Express uses and how we would build them if we weren't using a web framework, we were just using plain vanilla JS. Going through those sections in more detail really gave me a better understanding of the final section of this course where you're building a to-do list application that's pretty much fully functional minus not really having a you know database that you created from scratch. You're just using a very simplified version of your, your database or uh, storage system. So I went back through this, really focusing on those sections. And then uh, this really was most important in the section that talks about all the different frameworks and libraries that are used in a modern web framework like Express.js and why you need to know, you know how to build this framework from scratch before you can really get the most benefit out of being able to use it. This is one of the reasons I took the course in the first place because I didn't wanna just have to rely on frameworks and piecing you know, the high level pieces of products together. I wanted to really be able to understand how they were coded mostly from scratch. And one of the biggest things that some of these web frameworks do that's really helpful is they you know, take the requests for an HTML and they break it down into different routes to serve up the correct information to the user on the client side. Understanding how that happens piece by piece before you're just having it all automated in a web framework was super, super helpful for me. And I like it because when I'm transitioning to different web frameworks, because I'm not just gonna be using Express, I'll know what the component pieces are and I'll already be able to see some of the trade-offs that are expressed in those different web frameworks. So I went through the section again. I'm not gonna do a project for this section. I just wanna move on to the databases section because I am gonna do a project for that that I already have in mind. Uh, so I wanted to just make, make sure that I had as solid a foundation 
and understanding of this course material because I know I'm gonna be using the majority of it in the databases course and then the, you know, the applied uh, databases application that will follow that. So anyway, I just wanted to get this out really quick for an update because I've had a couple of people ask, that's what's going on. It was taking me extra long because I went through this course material three times uh, and I am now gonna be moving on to databases, which I'll have an update for you guys really shortly here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. I know some people were asking for an update, so here it is. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button, comment below letting me know if you liked this video, if you didn't like it, what you'd like to hear about, whether it's on launch school or otherwise. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so that you're notified anytime that I come out with a video in this Launch School series or just any other video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.